Welcome back. So I only have three slabs for you to finish the week. But I also wanted to provide you guys with some updates as to what's going on with the channel, what to expect moving forward. But first, let me discuss kind of what's going on. So with the market slowing down a little bit in a lot of areas, there's not nearly as much income coming in to pay for the hobby. So while I do have a clean sweep auction small hall and a university uh, archives uh, auction win, a few things there, nothing crazy like you've been seeing and no real huge additions in the foreseeable future for the collection. It's a time for, at least for me, to take a step back, especially watching some of the Greenberg prices lately. Just completely bonkers. Uh, a lot of you that are collecting modern, that collect modern players that dealt with the whole um, spike in value the last year and a half, two years. Well, Greenberg Market's finally catching on with that. So a lot of the items I was able to purchase in the past with a reasonable budget, reasonable by many standards, are unobtainable at this point. Now, I'm not ruling out the possibility of trading potentially or maybe buy one piece here or there if I happen to see it for a really good deal. But the overall volume of additions that I have been doing as of late in particular, they're just, again, I can't sustain that. And that's not going to be happening, happening moving forward. There's still a lot of stuff to sell. There's still a lot of items you've seen recently come in through auction wins many of those I've already kind of broken even on the total auction haul but there's still a lot of items that need to be moved there's a lot of great items I still have to catalog into my own collection and there's still just random piles and boxes of stuff which you've seen before I'm not gonna bore you with another circle around my tiny office so expect things to slow down a little bit. Again, there's three big or bigger, whatever you want to call it. Nothing crazy, at least on the purchase side. Um, there's some bigger videos I will do uh, in the coming weeks. Again, that being a University Archives uh, auction win, uh, clean sweep auction win, although that's going to take weeks to get here. Um, and also hopefully a return from PSA for a stack of Greenberg in particular, but other autographs as well. A couple of those will at least will be for sale. So there's a lot of stuff going on with regard to kind of my hobby status, if you will. And... It's just time for what I want to focus on to slow down quite a bit. So I'm not ruling out that you won't see any uh, individual purchases here and there, such as the three slabs in front of you. But again, we're not going to have the, the big buys or the kind of crazy items that I've somehow managed to scrounge up and get into the collection. So enough of me rambling let's get into the slabs that are, in front, that are in front of you so the interesting thing is we have three PSA slabs and my total purchase price including shipping and tax and all that these are all from eBay is less than what it cost under the old rates to actually get something slapped so I'm quite happy with each of these items. 
So surprisingly enough, I had the cognac. I had the blue sparkly thingy, numbered one. I did not have the regular Diamond Anniversary 2011 Tops Hank Greenberg. So this is a PSA 6. Really, you can't decipher why on the card, having looked it over. Great card. Uh, ended up being approximately $10. So a nice cheap add to the collection. Next up, this was just a... It was so cheap, I wanted to buy it. And we'll figure out what to do with it. I do have this card in a much higher grade uh, in a PSA slab, but it's a great 1952 Bowman. Great set. Great card. Great image of Rosen right before he really took the league by storm in 52 and 53. Um, a PSA 3.5. And, and again, the total for this to my door was approximately ten dollars I think it might have been ten and change so nice slab there and finally was able to get another one of these the 1940 Cincinnati Reds team issue Morris Arnovich and a PSA 4 just like my other one It's weird, the, there's not a ton of these that are slapped. But the last six months or so, a lot of these have popped up. And not just the Arnovich, the, basically the entire set has popped up. All PSA graded. Some are obviously a higher number, uh, some lower number. Um, but up until not long ago, I did not have this in the collection yet. So I was happy to find another for right around twenty dollars so even the most expensive card in this video is still less to my door than what I'd pay to take a raw card I already have and send it out for grading sometimes you can get the crazy deals like that and right now with the again the shift in my kind of hobby activity let's just or collecting activity it makes sense to really kind of go into the cheaper items I can pick up and fill in those really tiny gaps and especially the Greenberg PC where I just put them off and you know common cards I can pick up for a buck or two here and there especially if someone has a bunch of them just load up the cart use the bulk share or the bundle it for shipping purposes and just try and fill in those tiny holes here and there of the one two maybe up to five dollar cards but this time around I went with slabs and again I'm happy with the results because you can't find you can't grade something yourself even if you had each of these cards raw you couldn't send it out for how much I paid for everything already slapped so that's what I got for you to end the week and this time around so until next time please remember to collect what you enjoy enjoy what you collect don't let anybody especially the market or youtuber dictate that to you and most importantly have fun and have fun by being active in this community so find your way of participating whether it's making videos, watching and commenting, going to live streams, group chats, going to your LCS or local card show, or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends. The more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. The more you'll learn, the more your PC will grow, the more people you'll meet, and the more fantastic friendships you'll form. So I thank you very much for joining me. Hope to see you again. Have a good one. And bye for now.